Good afternoon. Today's the 29th of May. The weather is pretty nasty. And uh, it's time for more Tweed Jacket Reviews content, whether you don't like it or not. So um, yesterday I uploaded a video um, about a poll um, looking at two of the latest videos we filmed for the Tweed Jacket Reviews series. Um, if you haven't seen that video, then I'll put a link in the description below um, um, to vote for um, which of the two episodes um, that we filmed recently um, is your favourite. Uh, also in that video, we looked at um, the fact uh, that there's a new competition out um, where there's a £50 prize for watching all the um, videos and... Uh, correctly identifying what series and what episode the quotations that I use are from. I think the response to that video has sort of said to me that my money's going to be safe for perhaps some time to come. But uh, if you do fancy giving it a go, then please do so. The checkbook is ready and is, sorry, is ready and waiting. Hopefully now I can get my words um, properly out of my mouth um, because we need to talk about some more stuff to do with Tweed Jacket Reviews. What we're going to do on Friday in two days time is we're going to answer some um, of your questions about Tweed Jacket Reviews. Um, you, can answer, uh, you can ask any questions that you like about it. I'm not going to ask you to email them to me. You just can drop them in the comments below and um, I will answer the questions for you. We're not going to do a live video because I tried a live video last week and it sank like a lead balloon. So um, we're not going to do that. We'll just do a normal video on Friday and uh, whatever questions you leave in the comment section below, I shall answer to the best of my ability. So whilst you're all thinking of uh, what questions to ask about the 13 episodes of Tweed Jacket Reviews we've um, done so far, um, you know, where we film them. Um, I don't know who maybe the cars belong to, or so I can't give too much information about that. Um, and which one I liked, which one I didn't like. I thought I'd take some time to talk about the history of this tweed jacket that I'm wearing. I don't know if you are interested in that or not, but uh, I'll talk about it anyway. I bought this jacket um, at the Winchester College second-hand shop. Um, I'm not even sure if that still exists, but at the time when I was there, this was um, in the year 2000, there was a second-hand shop where if you had any extra sort of clothes, like sort of uh, jackets, um, trousers, um, stuff like that, you could um, give them to the second-hand shop and uh, there was a lady who used to run it on behalf of the school, um, whereby you could sell stuff you didn't really need anymore and um, you would actually get the money for it. They'd find who you were and um, credit your account, which was very nice of them. And this is where I got this jacket. It was second hand in the year 2000. It's a tailored jacket. It's um, made by a company called John G. Hardy which is a London tailor as far as I know. And um, it's quite unusual, it's a single-breasted jacket with slanting pockets. It's very similar to the sort of stuff that um, Patrick McNee would have worn, um, particularly towards the latter years of uh, the Avengers in the 60s. One of the things that's a bit sad is I can't show you footage of um, the Avengers fan film that I made whilst I was at school. And I wore this jacket um, during the film because I decided I'd have a go at playing Patrick McNee or John Steed, for those of you who know it. Um, because the characters and the music and things like that are copyright, um, I can't really show it to you. I do have a copy of it um, on DVD that my editor once gave me, and the screens of it have been very, very limited, so you will not see any footage of it. It won't be uploaded um, to any public forum, um, but I might at some point show you some stills because we had some nice cars in it so I might show you some stills of that um, at some point um, if I can get away with not infringing any copyright but suffice it to say that it exists and this is what I wore throughout the majority of the filming. 
I also used to wear this as generally it's at uh, at school. It was as, you know we didn't really have a uniform. We had to wear a jacket and a tie and some trousers and decent shoes. Um, but um, this is what I wore. I had a couple of waistcoats I wore with this and. Um, I thought it looked quite nice personally. Um, the leather patches, which you'll see in the latest reviews, I had to add those on quite recently because the elbows are starting to wear out. I think this jacket probably dates from probably 1990 or older. Um, I really don't know. Um, and if anybody has any idea about how old this thing might be, then please do put that in the comments. But um, it is getting quite old. I do wear it quite a lot obviously with filming and things like that um i do intend to keep wearing this one uh, you know as much as i can i might have to get other ones as well but this is the one that i've got so far um so yes it's it's a thing that has a great deal of sentimentality to me and uh, was one of the reasons i started to even consider making videos on youtube at all before um, I started using this um, in the films back in September, um, I didn't really wear it a, a lot. Um, it's not the sort of thing you tend to wear to a job too much, although I think I have sourced a few cars wearing this. Um, it just depends really what's going on. I've got other jackets as well that you've probably seen in the videos, particularly a, a sort of a much warmer one that uh, is in a majority of my winter videos. Um, but I will, yeah, always have a special kind of place in my heart for this one and uh, it's an older promotional material that we have for two jacket reviews now so I suppose I'll be keeping it for some time to come. Anyway that's enough about nostalgia and sentimentality. Um, please do drop your questions for the, the um, video on Friday um, into the comments section below and I shall do my best to answer them um, when the time comes. Don't forget to um, like this video, to subscribe to the channel. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be looking at another old television series and the cars used in it. Um, my website is www.lloydvehiclesconsulting.co.uk and please use the contact tab um, on my uh, homepage to get in touch with me if you wish me to source a car for you. I'd love to do that. Um, and please also visit my Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash Lloyd Vehicle Consulting. Thank you very much indeed for watching.